It is a known fact that Ogun State is the education capital of the nation and it is not taking this for granted. That is why the current administration in Ogun State has given that sector all it takes to ensure that the legacies of heroes past never be in vain. The current administration since it came on board has crossed the T's and dotted its I's which has brought so many laurels into the kitty. A foundation has been laid, construction done, and every necessary things needed to complete that sector has been done. A part of the sector that is also blazing the trail and not dropping the ball is the primary and secondary education sector and the woman in charge, Ronke Shoyombo, has given it all it requires, ensuring that he joins and with the Commissioner for Education, Science and Technology in Ogo State, Professor Abayo Babu to make that dream possible. If you go back to when His Excellency started, um, I would always go back to 2019, where he actually um, called for state of emergency on education. And with that, education has always been at the front burner. But His Excellency has kindly done quite a lot of things in terms of talking about the hardware in schools. I'm talking of um, school buildings, um, renovation of buildings, um, a lot of other initiatives, and also training teachers. However, we're in the 21st century. If we're not careful, the 21st century child needs to understand his own language. We have to speak their language to them. And if we do not do that, our children cannot be benchmarked with children in the international world. So as a result of that, ICT is something that we cannot afford to joke with. And when we started, we realized that when we came in as a government, we realized that it was only 27 schools out of 2,074 schools that had computers. So there's a big need. Investors are now rushing in to key into the projects and complement what the government is doing. One of such is this tech space donated by Ola Dele Fajemiroku Foundation, who saw what the Ogun State government has done and decided to partner with the government. We cannot do it alone, so we sought for support from individuals. And thank God for um, Ola Dele Fajemiroku Foundation, because with that, he was able to support us. He saw the need, he saw the passion for children that, look, they need this, and this is the kind of thing that they can achieve. And so we promised them that we're going to work with these children. And they kindly um, built a purpose-built ICT suite. And that's the ITS, the information um, te uh, technology space in Iperu that we have currently, that takes 50 computers in the suite. And you will see that with that, the children from about seven to eight schools are benefiting from that. Ola Dili Fajemiroku Foundation a non-governmental organization committed to supporting educational initiatives and empowering students for a brighter future. I feel so happy and I feel inspired by what we've achieved there, inspiring our youngsters, hundreds of them, to, to have a positive relationship with STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. And we are hoping that this model can be copied in other communities to to help our youngsters what we've done in Iperu is for our youngsters children to have access outside the world of Iperu and for them to feel inspired that they can do so much even in their community this big project that is giving a new life to the people of Iperu under Ikene local government what's mentioning as the children at a tender age have been given a new lease of life. The Fajem Rukum Foundation that just brought us the computer center to train the, to train the children in the area of education. And I know I like to put that alone. 
au lieu d'envoyer ma presse sur moi. Il va dire, 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 il the visit to the tech space was an eye-opener as primary and secondary children whose schools are not far from the tech space were on the ground to have another feel as they normally do every week. You are all welcome to the Perotech Innovation Space and I'm really sure that uh, this is not your first time of coming here, yes or yes? yes. Uh, this place is a computer center, a tech hub space and it is, uh, it is an initiative of Aladele Foundation uh, purposely to eradicate computer literacy even to the grassroots level. When I mean the grassroots level now, I mean to the primary school level. We want to ensure that uh, as early as baby primary, three, primary, four, they get the good knowledge of computers, not only uh, having that alone, having the practical knowledge of it coming down here, work perfectly on it, and by the time they get to maybe senior secondary school, they should be a guru on that aspect. Their teachers were not also left out as they confirmed that the space has indeed helped them in teaching as they have always been on the theory part while they have been without the practical aspects. When they started it, the pupils were coming to this site, but later, when they come back to the school, they usually tell me, Oga, ah, this place is fine. We want to go twice in a week, but it's once. But they went out for competition and they made it. Even one of them went to Abekuta three weeks ago for mathematics using phone. And he's able to make it. Even I myself, by coming down here once, I was able to have some learners at UK that I'm taking the lecture three times in a week and I'm earning money. It helped the people a lot because many of them, they are unable to touch it before, but now they can touch. They, they don't, they, some of them, they have not, they, they, are, not, they are unable to, they, they can mention the part of the computer, but they are unable to touch it and see that this is the, uh, maybe mouse, this is what it's called mouse, this is what we call a, uh, uh, okay, uh, all, uh, this is what we call the board, they don't know it before, but now, since the time they have been coming here, because this foundation, they have done a lot in the, in the life of the learners, because they are able to talk, they are able to mention the part, they are able to know what they are doing. This ITS information technology system being initiated by and powered by Oladele uh, Fajem Moroccan Foundation. Uh, well, no, our purpose have been they have been benefited about uh, this competition. I mean, this uh, ITS and uh, at in our school, in my school, in my school, about two of our purpose won a scholarship award through this uh, competition. I mean, through this uh, foundation. We have one, uh, Mary, Mary Agbese. Agbese, she won that foundation initiated by Mary Samson, uh, Mary Smola, uh, Badebo Foundation. Then that was, she won the award in 2023, I mean 2022. There's another purpose in our school again. Through the, this uh, foundation, she was able to win another award, scholarship award to uh, Methodist Secondary High School in Peru here. And uh, not only the two pupils or learners alone, the majority of them have been, they have been benefited about on, on, on this uh, uh, ITS. And this program, I really love it. It helped all the learners, teachers, they and everybody to know the impact of a uh, computer system. Uh, our learners, some of them, they are just teaching them to know and identify. 
they identify different parts of the computer. So that is it. Table projects that uh, need to be encouraged and that need to be financed and need to be introduced not only to Ikeneremo, to all the zones, to all the Remo zones. All the zones in Remo, then the uh, local state in general. Is, is it because it assists the students, being that the world is not going to a computerized uh, world, and the students need to be carried along with this jet age of computer. Uh, this project is a wonderful, it's a wonderful project. Even it has teaching learning processes because we are teaching the pupils in abstract. But with the help of this project, the teaching becomes reality in the sense that they practicalize all what we have taught them. It's a good project, it's a good program. And whenever we bring our pupils there, it is what we've been enjoying. In fact, a lot of the pupils we've been bringing here were unable to identify some of these things before. But since we've been bringing them here, they were able to identify. They are able to go through the computer, play games on it and some other things like that. The introduction of the information communication technology has helped the pupils a lot. It has brought in their knowledge and has helped them to, to know what the technologies entails. These children, we have been taught them the theory aspect in the school. And we, whenever we bring them here, they practicalize what we have what they have been taught in the class. They have access to the computer. They can operate the computer by themselves. They can write a composition about themselves. They can type, they can create a file, they can save a file. Alhamdulillah, these people, they really gain a lot on this computer because before, because before this computer, what the teachers are teaching the people is a theory. But due to <coughs> coming to ICT, the people now have learned more about what the teacher and the teacher taught them. From someone who grew up in Ekperu, access to computer while growing up was not something you could come about as he travels as far as Lagos before he could have a feel of what a computer is. The impact of what this facility is about to be is something we cannot even quantify in a year or two or decades. Few weeks ago, I think about two weeks ago, on the platform where all of us meet, I, I, and I saw a picture of this facility and students training here, and I said that 11 years ago, I remember 2011, because I, I grew up here in Ekweru, and I mentioned on the group that then, 11 years ago, I used to go to Lagos during the holidays to learn ICT. So these kids don't have to do that right they don't have to do that they can get that kind of skill and training here and it was humbling for me personally um, a few months ago when we were trying to document we wrote a book with um, dr abati on the progress this community has made in in the last two decades and one of the interviewers said that he went to Kwara university and the ict center they had did not even up to 20 20 um, systems right and we have about 40 here and there's even plans for expansion right so there are so many um, points to mention the impact this is making in the nearest future we are we are looking to seeing this space um, um, being used by not just Ikweru community members or, but people across the local government, Elisha, Ikene and all of that. And really education is really the bedrock of everything, right? In this century, you you don't you can you almost cannot do anything without education and technology is more or less the major instrument of that. So the impact of this is something we cannot quantify. Well, I'm happy. Even the lady that came with me was so was so emotional seeing these um, kids using the computer. So we're grateful. We're, we're humbled by this initiative. We know that it is just the beginning in terms of the knowledge these kids can can begin continue to acquire in just 18 months. And I'm also aware that some of them are already going to Lagos for competitions. We have think lines. We have up to 50 computers. They are operational at the moment. And we have this facility is solar powered. We have about 7.5 kVA. Uh, 
energy, renewable energy, so they don't have to depend on IBDC or energy from the grid. So from, uh, from the start of the day, from the start of the day to the end, we have stable electricity supply so that um, the students could have uninterrupted access to digital learning. Yes, over time, based on our reports, we've been having um, different schools in different regions across this area coming to benefit from this initiative. Ola Dili Fajemiruku has done some generations proud here. And many thanks to the Ogun State Government for making that good platform available for things like this to happen. My name is Oreyomi Timlenyi. I am in Premier 5. I live in Ikperuremo Ogun State. I am dark in complexion. I am a boy. My best subject is mathematics. Of course, I want to appreciate Mr. Ola Deliver Jamuku for the opportunity that he gave us. God bless them, sir. I play game on the computer. I can process data units in the computer. I can receive information in the computer. I want to talk about what I gain in this foundation. Firstly, I want to thank Daddy Ola Dele Faje Miroku Foundation for doing this place for us. Secondly, what I gain in this foundation is promote my interest in computer studies. It makes computer study rich to me. It provides important information. Thanks. This foundation helped me to know my about computer and make me to identify parts of computer and like monitor, mouse, keyboard. EG and their functions. It helped me to know about more about a computer and some components or parts of a computer. Just like the things I'm being taught in class, we only taught the theory aspects. But we, when they launched this place, we were able to carry out practicals. And also, it has also given me the interest why I should study more on computer. And that made me also promote my flexibility on computer also. It has also given me some positive impact why I need to know more about computers. Every technovation space has really helped us. It has really improved our abilities of learning. It has made us to know many things about computer and it has made us to create edits and know how to design on graphics. It has really helped us. Well, I must commend the effort of the government in introducing ICT Center for the student to enhance e-learning in order to compete with their counterparts in other parts of the world. It's a great invention. This program has been building our courage in interacting with computer and has been building our knowledge. It, it's helped me in knowing some aspects in computer that have not been taught in school. When we have access to technology, most things will not be hard for us to do again. Because our parents, our parents, the grown-ups now, they are suffering this because they just Badge into the era of technology, the thing came like it met them on our ways, and most of them are having issues with their businesses because they can't even advertise online and do other things. So, I think the foundation is doing a very good job, and they should keep up with the good work because the children are learning, the youth are learning, and I believe it will make a better society. I want to say a very big thank you to who, who invented this. Mr. from this wonderful initiative that gives the learners in the the opportunity to recognize the computer system, access and input information on a computer. Once again, thank you, sir. Long live Mr. Oladilipa Jemiruku. Long live Mr. Chegu Ukuleye. Long live Mrs. Wankesu Yombo. Long live His Royal Majesty, Atemola Adeleke. Long live His Excellency Dapwa Biodun. Long live Professor Abayomi Haribabu. Long live Yepayulan. Long live Ikena Local Government. Long live Oko State. Driving few kilometers from Iperu is another similar project like this. Sparkle ICT Center, built within one of the primary schools in Shagamu for the same purpose. Sparkle Foundation is a non-profit organization committed to helping children live healthy, access education, and work towards achieving their full potential. Mm. The ICT Center, we know we are in the 21st century. During the COVID, we realized that most of the children in the private communities were not able to have access to online learning. So in we trying to see how we can be able to 
bridge the gap, we realized that they don't even have that enough ICT knowledge. And we felt, how can we do this? And then we started in 2020, carrying laptops to different communities, teaching the children how to use a computer, Microsoft Word and Excel and all that. And then after, while we were doing that, we realized there were so many challenges we were facing. Number one, there was no security with our equipment. Sometimes when we move them into the community to use them, we begin to face harassment. People want to they, they face harassment for people in the community. And then sometimes the security of those gadgets too became an issue. So that's why we decided that, okay. And also for so, um, sustainability as well, to consistency. When we take those laptops to those communities to teach the children and we move them out. So what happens next? And then we thought about a centre where the children can come in, assess their, have their ICT education and at the same time too, from time to time too, they can also keep going there to develop their skill and that's how we came about this centre. We have um, joint C computers, then we have the server, we also have the CPU, we have projector, then we have a um, solar system, we also have a stable internet. We try as much as possible to inculcate a practical aspect. Then we uh, divided them into groups, about five groups. So each group, they have a group leader and they also have a secretary. So they collaborate within their group members to come up with a project. So they work within their groups and they also practicalize whatever is being displayed and whatever is being taught. So they do a lot of practicals. And so far we've seen the impact, we've seen that many of them, they really showed interest. They know how to use the mouse, they know how to use the keyboard, they can operate computers, because before now they could not do all those things. And it's like a light that shines upon the darkness. I want to appreciate them that all their doing for us what they are doing for us is free and we are we like it everything they are doing for us everything they are doing for us they will not it will not be run down in jesus i want to tell them that god will bless them they will not come down in jesus name i want to pray that may god know that the company may not go down and and god will give them more strength it is a nice program that inculcates the learners how to, uh, how to use the computer very well. It's very interesting. It has been very interesting because the learners have the ability at least to have access to the ICT practically. You know, before we just teach this puppy correctly, at times there will be no chance for the practical aspect of it. But now these children, they can now press, they know the different names of the key, they know how to print, they know how to, they know the, they know the internal part of the computer, and they can access it. Um, we are here at the ICT, uh, Sparkle Foundation ICT Center, situated in Wesley School of Porto Shagamu, to show how they have been helping the learners on, a, on the computer system. They want the children to have the knowledge of a computer. They want them, want them to be ICT literate. So and we really appreciate their efforts because the learners have been learning it. Even the tutor that is taking them is really trying. Here within the school is a solar powered information and communication technology center to Wesley School 1 and 2 and AUD Primary School of Koshagamu in Ogun State. Uh, like I said, it's a game changer. It's a facility that is uh, uh, developing or nurturing young talents. Because very soon the students will go out from here and they will be uh, that enthusiasm that this place has developed in them. Then to be you know, uh, top innovators. Students rushing to computer class because they know it is. They have a lot to gain. Then, like writing exams, CBT, all this is opening their eyes to know that IT is very essential. The children, they are teachers, and our state government appreciates this effort and thank Ola Dele Fajemi Roku Foundation and Sparkle Foundation for giving hope to the younger generations.
Sparkle Foundation, we are able to get another ICT center here. Being facilitated again with a special woman in the state, uh, the special advisor to, the, to His Excellency on primary and secondary education, Mrs. Ronke Shoyombo. So uh, Sparkle Foundation has been doing a fantastic work. But they want our children too to be able to compete well, favorably well with the uh, neighboring or other states' children when it comes to issue of computer education. And with the little time they have started with this ITC, we have seen the positive impact in the life of the learners from the three adopted schools. Our main learners have benefited from it. Even when I w I'm, I w I'm only here for the first time, but what I saw now has really impressed me because I could see learners at this their age able to at least to operate computers. In fact, it was even a bonus to their own time for their own even their generation. Okay. I want to appreciate um, Oladele Fajemiroku Foundation. Thank you so much to what you have done for us with the ITS. We're very, very grateful. And um, our Oliver Twist would always ask for more because we still have about um, two other schools in Peru that are unable to access and that's because of distance. So we would appreciate a very lovely boss. Um, and also, Sparkle Foundation, thank you so much for what you're doing in um, Shagamu. You've actually done the early years center for us. That is really, really outstanding. We're so proud of you. Thank you so much for that early years center. And thank you so much for the ICT suite that you have built for us in Wesley Oko. Um, we're very grateful, but at the same time, you've promised to add 10 more for us. And we look forward to you coming to Ogun Central to actually build more for us. Thank you so much. The children appreciate what you have done, and you can actually see it even from the parents that they're very, very grateful. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Alex.